Hi everyone, welcome. Good evening. Thank you for joining us. My name is Janet O, and I'm the Assistant Curator of Contemporary Art and Programs here at the Asian Art Museum. This is the third and final performance of Soundscapes with Teresa Wong, joined by Kanoku Nishi Smith. Um, it's been a really great journey working with Teresa on this project. Before we get started, I know we're in a very cramped gallery space. We're trying to leave this area open just for the camera to capture. So if you do need to exit the galleries, we ask that you use um, the area behind the camera if possible. Um, we are not requiring masks, but we highly encourage you to wear them. So tonight we have the third and final performance of Soundscapes with Teresa Wong, who was our inaugural artist in residence with the series, which began earlier this year. Soundscapes is a new creative research and performance residency embedding a performing artist in the museum over several months to develop new work. So Teresa has been researching our collections, meeting with staff and curators to think about connections between music and sound and visual art. And so for this performance, she chose three different works in the Japan galleries, which are illustrated on the back of this handout. There are copies over here, if you'd like one. Um, and on Chirokuro Obata, Origami Gyokudo, and Tokuyama Gyokuran. Um, it's been a really great experience working with Teresa on this project, um, and I want to recognize all her efforts in putting this together with me on this collaborative project. Um, I want to thank also the many people involved in putting this together over the last few months, especially Teresa. Um, also to John O'Shea and our audiovisual team, to Robert Mintz, Abby Chen, Laura Allen, um, there's so many people, our guest experience team, and everyone supporting this project from the winter forward. The museum is also open until 8 today, so if you have a chance, um, come please see the Carlos Villa exhibition on the ground floor, and our collection galleries are open as well. Um, I also invited Laura Allen, our curator of Japanese art, to share some remarks about the works. Thank you. Um, Hi, I'm Laura Allen, I'm Senior Curator of Japanese Art at the Asian Art Museum, and it is my great pleasure uh, tonight to um, be able to help introduce uh, this performance. It was a very, very interesting project for me because as a curator here, I generally focus on visual art, and um, by looking at paintings together with Teresa, um, you know, it helped kind of open up a new dimension and I hope that's true for all of you tonight, thinking about the kind of the cross-fertilization between paintings and music. Um, it's uh, such a, a kind of a fundamental concept, but it only came to me uh, lately when we were looking at some of these paintings. Two of them were actually in storage, and the third one, the one in the middle here, is down at that end of the gallery. Um, this is the Japanese painting gallery. By the way, I hope you can spend some more time after the performance examining the works on display. Many of them are by a local, uh, an artist who was based in the Bay Area for many years, uh, Chiro Obata. Um, anyway, going back to the painting and music connection, I don't, don't want to drift off course or take up too much time, but um, it, uh, looking at the paintings with Teresa it definitely made me think more about the way in which visual artists taking up a brush, especially for ink painting, um, use the brush in a way that's similar to the way an artist plays an instrument. Seems very basic, but the strokes of the brush, the way it's applied to the surface of the painting, the, the rhythm, the motion, the uh, intensity, the darkness of the ink, the lightness of the ink, all the tonalities and all the uh, texture that are brought to play in making a painting are very similar to what, an, uh, to what a musician does when, when performing a piece. And particularly the act of composition, composing a painting, deciding what elements to include, what to leave out, um, and how to express a particular emotion or, or an experience are common to both forms. I think the, um, the, uh, the the value of having, kind of having that insight and maybe even you know imagining what kind of music a painting reminds you of um, is very valuable and, and kind of enriching. But it also, um, you know, I think 
Uh, I'm really looking forward to hearing uh, what Teresa, how Teresa responds to these, these three very different um, works and kind of uh, focusing, uh, as she did, on an experience of nature and how that's expressed in both the visual arts and in music. Um, so I think this is a really thrilling opportunity to hear something entirely new, and um, I'm, I'm just, I hope you'll uh, join me in welcoming Teresa and uh, Kanoko to the Gilbert performance. Thank you.
extra special thanks to Janet O and the Asian Art Museum for having us. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs>